What's going on guys, Biznix here. Today we're going to be talking about the fastest way you can level up and do multiplayer. Now before I go any further, I just want you to know that subscribing to my channel allows you to get daily updates on Doom and Star Wars Battlefront content. Uh, also, if you ever want me to do a certain class for you in either game, then let me know in a comment. And finally, if you ever want to play with me, let me know and I will get my appropriate information to you so that we can play. Um, but without further ado, let's get into how you can level up really fast in this game. So after playing all of the game types in this game, like multiplayer mode, I've finally come to the conclusion that Domination is by far the most score you're going to get uh, out of your buck, basically. Every game you're going to get, you're going to get so much score and it's going to allow you to level up that much faster. In case you don't know how the progression in this game works, then I'm just going to explain it to you in a brief couple sentences. Basically, you don't have to be the best Doom player to rise to the ranks. In fact, you might not always be on the winning team, and that's okay. Half of your experience just comes from showing up and making an effort. The other half comes from kills you rack up, where, you're, where you place on, the t on your team, and whether your team wins or loses. Any challenges you might complete in combinations like MVP or most demon kills that you may receive, um, all kind of add into your score at the end. So in short, the more you play and the more weapons and armor and equipment and hack modules you unlock, the better you're going to be at the game. So what I'm trying to say is, I got that off the uh, Doom website, but basically, you will get half the score by just being there and trying, okay? And then the other half comes from the number of medals that you get in the game and the number of um, challenges you complete. So, in short, I found that in Domination, you're able to get the most amount of medals and challenges completed in the small amount of time uh, it is to even play this game. The match is around, I think, 8 minutes long, and all you do is you... It's, I mean, if you've played Domination in Call of Duty or in Halo, then you'll know. You just capture uh, bases and kill enemies and defend them and attack them. And you get 70 points because you can get a point for defending a position, you can get a point for de uh, attacking a position, you can get a point for protecting, uh, or not protecting, uh, capturing a position, and you can get a point for killing people, you get a point for killing uh, or getting assists, you get a point for demon kills, you get a point for being MVP. There's so many opportunities you can, he you can get here, whereas if you're playing team deathmatch, you can only kill like people and get assists and that's really about it or get demon kills but you, there's no objective so you're not getting as many points but this game lasts just as long as team deathmatch so uh, and like you're basically doubling your score by doing this actually I would say tripling to be honest if you are half decent at this game then you will probably reach level 40 within like two or three hours and if you watched my previous video about echelons which is basically the prestige system in this game you're going to be reaching level 40 like five or no ten different times over your course of playing doom so it's kind of important to figure out how to effectively use your time uh, keep in mind that you're still gonna have everything that a player that a level 40 player would have that's not been ranked up um, and I mean it's just like even though you're ranked up it's really just a way to show that you've played the game a lot more than somebody else it really doesn't make a difference but um, in case you wanted to get ranked up fast this is how you would do it now that I've basically told you what the best game type to play in multiplayer is to rank up fast I'll just tell you what I think the best gun in the game is right now and it's really personal preference because it really depends on how you play if you like to rush in then definitely use this gun, the Combat Shotgun. I don't know if you watched one of my previous videos, I was talking about how I haven't really used it because I was like, nothing could be better than the Super Shotgun. Well, I kind of stand corrected. The way this, like, weapon works is you are able to shoot shotgun shell after shotgun shell, but you're also able to shoot grenades out from the bottom of your weapon uh, using the right bumper on your mouse. Which is kind of cool, and it's really effective whenever somebody is actually 
like waiting down on the uh, bottom of these steps or you have a position down looking down on them but you really can't do anything that is whenever you use your grenades to uh, actually like fire down on them you can get a maximum of 50 damage off on somebody from a direct hit uh, but most of the time it's gonna be around 40 damage and it's, it's, it's kind of I think it's a little bug but as soon as you fire that that grenade you can immediately fire your shotgun shell right after so you can effectively do 90 damage right off the bat, like really, really fast. And that's why I think it's the best gun. It's probably going to get a little patched. Like, I feel like that's a little too fast, but I don't, I don't see anyone really complaining about it yet. Nobody's really using it that much, so we'll see what happens. But really, guys, that's all I really have to say. If you enjoyed this video or thought it was helpful, then definitely leave a like. It really helps out. Uh, stick around to my channel by hitting that subscribe button, you'll get daily notifications on my Doom videos. And without further ado guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.